What's up guys, welcome back to more Atlas news. We have got the Captain's Log 42 which has come with delays on the latest patch update but also a little tease with a new marketplace which, uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of it really. I mean, it's a building, it's going to serve a purpose. There's the little menu that's going to be inside and how it's going to work. I can't see um, any items on there, only resources. Which I mentioned before, I think it'd be cool if you could trade items and maps, blueprints, that kind of thing. And uh, there's some of the uh, the uh, trade ships, making them what you will. Um, obviously this is what they keep saying, and it is, and I agree with them, early access. So these things can change, these are the first iterations of this new trade system. And it's going to be really interesting to see... Um, how things move forward but let's get into the captain's log 42 trade system progress and halloween giveaway and um yeah let's read a little bit about the delay ahoy power phones happy halloween today we have a small news update and a new teaser of the next part of the trade system along with the giveaway development unfortunately last patch introduced some map issues that were bigger than we initially thought what we believed was a minor bug that caused flickering and zooming in on the map actually manifests in different ways in different performance machines as we have come to learn. As it is more nuanced, it has taken us more time to fully tackle. The second major issue we are working on fixing is the claim, claiming of sea forts on PVE. There are multiple ways that we can approach this and we are carefully considering what could be the best option. At this time, we also have multiple branches that we are working on to stabilise for the next build. Whether or not we can release a branch will depend on how testing goes, and we are aiming for a patch next Tuesday. If all goes well, we can expect to release a small maintenance update with fix on Tuesday, and then the market update next week. However, if we have additional problems, we may have to hold the updates. Continuing on that note, our overall goal is to continually release more updates on a regular basis in between some of the content patches. Some weeks may be more along the line of smaller maintenance updates and fixes. Teasers. We dropped the first part of the trade system, the sea forts, last week. We have been observing the actions surrounding them as we continue to update and balance the sea forts. The next part of the trade system that we will be releasing are the markets. Although players will not be able to use the trade routes just yet, we are still testing it out. You will be able to build these markets next to your warehouse and play around with the menu and configurations. Here's a sneak peek at a new market, as well as a look at how its UI is developing. So yeah, like I said, I don't know what to make of it. It's kind of cool. I, it's not how I'd imagine a market. Um, that kind of looks more like a warehouse shed than the actual warehouse. <laughs> and the warehouse looks more like a little marketplace, kind of, in my head. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Um, menu looks pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see the log. You've got your trade routes that are going there, and your trade offers on the side here. Um, so I guess the trade offers are what you can set and people can buy. Um, yeah, it looks pretty pretty fine to me. Um, you know, it could change as we go, and hopefully they will update it. And like I said, I would love to see the capability of adding items and blueprints and maps and stuff to this and maybe even animals some way um, otherwise I won't go into it now we'll talk about it in another video but otherwise it's gonna be not as good as the current trade system that the players have created um, yeah you can add trade offers uh, there's the ships that we mentioned earlier um, yeah like I said these might change I think it don't really matter what they look like. That's, that's fine, I guess. Looks like a little trading vessel, I suppose. Please note the above is very rough work in progress and what you are seeing will continue to change. Let's move on to the giveaway then. Last but not least, we are ending the month of a Halloween giveaway. We've allied with the crews over at Blue Microphones and the Trado to scour land and sea far and wide for treasure and now the spoils are yours to take. Aye if you're lucky. From now until November the 5th, enter our raffle for a chance to win a Yeti X from Blue Microphones, a 50 slot Atlas voucher from the Trado, or a Steam key for Atlas to recruit some new mates. For more information and to enter, visit the link here. Good luck, your scallywags. Again, I'll put the link to this captain's log in the description and you can follow that and then click this link to 
and at the giveaway. Final note, again, we would like to emphasize that Atlas is still in early access, meaning many things can and will likely continue to drastically change. Even in the middle of development, anything discussed is only up to date as at the moment it is posted. Features and changes ultimately make it to the next patch, as well as timing, may be different from what was previously discussed. As always, we appreciate the suggestions and feedback from the community. Please keep them coming. Thank you for all your support. Happy sailing Atlas crew. So yeah, the giveaway, you just click the link, it takes you to the Halloween giveaway page and uh, it goes through the different prizes and then tells you how to participate and then you can do the following things below. If you didn't know, let's get back to the start of this post the, of the Captain Log 42. Like they said, they found some issues and um, just quickly, I've seen someone or a couple of people mention that it's funny how um, in the patch notes they mention known issues and release it anyway. That is really common, guys. Um, honestly, in a lot of early access games, even in full release games, when you see patch notes, they will say, oh, look, guys, we found this, um, but here's the patch we're trying to work on, you know, X, Y and Z. That is really common. It's not a thing down to the Atlas devs. It's not something um, that they're doing wrong. And um, it's them, in a way, kind of being transparent and honest and saying, like, look, this is a problem and we know about it and we are working on it. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'd put that out there. You can disagree if you want, but like I said, I've played loads of early access games. And, and again, in even fully released games, that is a common thing you will see in patch notes known bugs and issues but yeah obviously one of the ones that has been a big problem is the map um i literally went to work the day after they released um the little update like the pre-update i guess it was um and that was the day that the map issue started it made things really difficult for me to do my bed hopping before i logged off for the last day um I work away from home so yeah i had to make sure i did my bed hopping and rather than taking a few minutes it ended up taking like 20 minutes half an hour uh just because it was so hard to even get to the selected region that i needed to get to and things like that because the map was just completely uh not working it was a complete mess um obviously the other issue on pve pvp players turn away now i know you hate pve <laughs> But uh, yeah, on PV there's been some problems with the uh, claiming the sea forts. I uh, don't know what they're going to do about that. I don't know if it really matters. I mean, obviously, if you own the sea fort in PV, you get the tax revenue. Although I guess it's not working right now anyway. But eventually, you'd get the tax revenue. Um, but yeah, they're going to—they're they're looking into fixing it, and they're saying that there is a few ways they're going to be able to deal with that. Um, again, I've mentioned PvPVE type stuff, which I would love to see, even the PvE servers. I don't see why you couldn't have this if you wanted to take part as a PvP option somehow. I know a lot of people won't like that, but oh, I think that'd be kind of cool. You don't, you know, it'd be an opt-in, opt-out kind of thing. You don't have to take part if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, either way, they're looking at different ways of solving that issue, which is good. They're hoping the patch will be out by Tuesday, which will be the third of November I believe I think that's right so they're aiming for the 3rd of November and hope that will solve the main issues of the map um, and the PVC fault problem but I think it's really good how they have quickly come out and said this this is something they've needed to be doing previously and obviously they've said there's an issue and something that they're working on they want to get better at and uh, again this is a great step hopefully this is something that keeps coming it happened at the start with this renewed atlas um push to fix the game a few months back when they'd done the wipe and after a few weeks it died away so we will see but this is good this looks promising it's quite in detail there's a uh, quite a bit of information in there i know people disagree with that but you know it's something that they're they're communicating um and you know they're holding their hands up they're saying they've got problems and they're trying to fix it so we can only keep our fingers crossed and hope that this continues and hope they solve these issues that they've mentioned i'm really looking forward to the marketplace i'm really interested to see how it's going to work my only issue is like i said if you can't trade items and blueprints and maps and things like that it's not really worth the time and effort um, especially in pve and even in pvp i'd imagine like it's i mean 
don't know if you can't trade everything. Maybe it's something they'll add later on. I don't know, but I just still imagine it'll be easier to go on Discord, go in some of the trade channels. You know, most people that are trading on Atlas um, have got loads of different connections. If you're new to Atlas, jump in a few Discords. There's always links to other Discords, and you can go through them and find the ones that are good for you. And um, it, it, it's just a good way of trading. It, it creates a good community for one thing, and also it's just simple and easy. Um, obviously, this adds to the gameplay because we're going to have the trade ships. These going around the ocean that you're going to be able to take out in PvP at least. And obviously the sea forts are a new addition to the game. So yeah, it has added gameplay. But I just don't I don't personally see how this is worth a lot of time. Um, obviously, I will say for the, the simplicity of trading resources, this is pretty cool. And I imagine as well, you could do this offline. Like you could set this up and go to bed, and hopefully in the morning, if nothing happens to your shipment, you would have made a successful few trades, which is really cool. Other than that, I just feel like at the moment, the, the normal trading, uh, the way we all trade, most of us on Atlas, through Discord, etc., is still going to be the way forward. And I mentioned before, it'd be cool if you could add to the side of this your player store, or if this em implemented a player store. Um, and you could then show your listings in the trade offers. That makes sense. I, I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be a good way to go with it. And keep it like this. Keep it so you're sending out a trade ship. You're adding even more risk to your resources, obviously, and your items. If you're shipping out um, some crafted mythical planks, for example, or something like that, or mythical cannons. And someone captures them, then you know they they're going to be doing well out of it, and you're going to be annoyed. But it'll add to the experience, that's for sure. Um, and it would make this more worthwhile, in my opinion. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think to that. But I do like the menu. It looks like that's nice and simple and going to work well. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure about the uh, chat, but you know that's for. I mean, yeah, it's a <laughs> beauty's in the eye of the beholder kind of thing, and. It's down to preference. Um, I would have not gone with that. I would have preferred something a little different. But at the end of the day, it's going to function, hopefully, <laughs> and serve its purpose, and that's all that matters. But I'm looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it. I I'm enjoying the communication again from the dev team. And, uh, yeah, I like the hold your hands up attitude that we're seeing at the moment of them saying, oh, we've got problems and we're fixing it rather than just complete radio silence so fair play to him i know again people disagree with that but whatever you know everyone can have their own opinion that's fine but i think it's a good thing that this is what we're getting and like i said hopefully it continues so there we go guys nice and quick i thought i'd put this out because it's just dropped a few hours ago for me or you can see her 12 hours ago um and uh yeah i've got another video coming on the ships i like I said in the one of the previous episodes i'm trying to break these down now into more specific things this is kind of a short captain's log so i'll just do it on its own video um again leave comments down below to what you think to anything within this and um yeah i should have the a video talking about the new ship systems and the ships of gold coming out soon and we can you know discuss that like i said before i like doing this because it's really interesting to see what other people think and see the different sides of the game and how the different players um expect certain things to go obviously the pvp and pve sides i mean like that um it's interesting um and hopefully it adds to the content of the game and adds to the game's reach hopefully and more people become aware of it and hopefully um the devs keep working hard on it and we get eventually a game that we can all love and enjoy and uh, mainly works properly <laughs> that, that's all i'm really looking for right now but um yeah is what it is this is good news well apart from the delays but the the um more communication stuff that's good the new market is around the corner. Looking forward to that. So yeah, let me know what you think down below, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell for future videos and the live streams, obviously. And uh, follow me on Twitch if you'd rather watch live streams on Twitch. Moshman Gaming on there. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.